The name of our project <laughs> was um, traditional Chinese medicine, medicine using barcode to identify ginkgo products. We've done research, but it was never this intense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like nothing more than an eighth grade exit project yeah. was the closest to the. It was the first time we really got to do kind of our own project. A lot of times in science classes in school, I guess, they give us kind of an experiment. We have to follow exactly what they're doing. And here we had the freedom to choose our own project. We went to Harm DNA Lab. Like, I knew nothing that we were using. I didn't know what anything was. I didn't know what I was doing. But after that, I was like, wow, this is really cool. Like, I felt like a real scientist. It was awesome. Like another science fair project, it was something simple, like volcanoes or something. But this was like serious. Like, we're yeah. doing DNA barcoding. Well, for me, the best part was the hands-on experience because before this, even though we had labs for biology and chemistry, labs were very, I don't know, they were very boring. There was so much little to do. But here, we actually got a lot of hands-on experience. But before this, I never pipetted anything before. So when I got there, it was like, wow, this is great. Well, I, what I like a lot about this project is that it, it puts together like the research in the lab along with field work. So you have to create this entire story. I like just looking at the data and seeing the questions that it brought up and then I liked looking at the information on the DNA subway and making the trees and finding the bits of CO1 gene on Jane Bank. This is my first research project, so finding the answers to something that isn't already in the textbook, something I can't just Google and find out. Like, through this project, I was able to supply an answer that no one else knew, and I was able to discover for the first time. For me, it was amazing because I didn't know, when I joined this project, I didn't know uh, like even a single thing about DNA. But now I know like the basic things, like how the DNA works and everything. Not the basic thing, we learn more of depth yeah. because we don't study the, in the books. Like uh, I, I came here for like one year ago and I didn't know much, of, I didn't know anything about DNA. Yeah. So I, uh, before studying that subject in my living and work class, I had to do this. But when my teacher started to teach me, I know much more than every student in the class. I know yeah, everything. Yeah, that was amazing. And I wasn't, I wasn't learning from the books, I was learning from my experience that I did. I think for me, um, I'm, I'm the teacher, so seeing you know, my students with the kit, the locker kits, was really great because we were able to bring them to the school and a lot of students were peeking through the door, like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> are y'all doing some scientific research? Yes, we are. <laughs> we don't do any of this at our school. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. So, and because the DNA lab is, you know, short two bus stops away, it was very accessible. Um, and the access to the, to the foot lockers was extremely helpful. Like all those things kind of um, built sort of a support or um, kind of a, a hook for getting us access. This is the most excellent like uh, experience I've had. I've been teaching for 23 years. It kind of changed my perspective of the world. Like I no longer just uh, see an issue and not and not ask a question. I always use like the scientific method like. Uh, observing what's happening around, asking a question, forming a hypothesis, and trying to figure out if it's true or not. Yeah, it was definitely a life-changing experience for me. Like, after working and doing the research, I, de I definitely said that science was where I wanted to go with my career. I just like analyzing the information. You sure did. <laughs>